Hi everyone, I thought I would do a haul. So I said to you a few days ago now that I have bought a couple of new bags. Well, I also have purchased like some new sneakers and a new top. And I thought I would just come on here and just show you, show you all of it, why not? I'm gonna start with the sneakers, they're in here. And I've already had a peek at them, I love them. They're like, um, this is them. Look at that. So it's got these gold ticks on it and also there is gold and around here. Like they're, they're just a style that I haven't seen before. And even the embroidery on the tongue bit there, that's gold as well. And I love the way they look. I absolutely love them. And I've already got the high top versions of these, which I like, but I wanted the low top version because I've always wanted the low top. I've always wanted both actually. And I just happened to be on the website the other day. It was one evening and I thought, I wonder what they've got on the website. And I saw these sneakers and I just absolutely had to get them. So yes, that is the first thing. I'll link to these below because I think you can still get them. And the leather on them looks so good. So this is like a textured leather here, as you can see, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully you can see. So that is the first item. I've got on this hair clip and it's got like a bow on it and it's sticking out there and I feel like it makes me look like I've done something weird to my hair. That is actually a bow um, that's sticking out weirdly. So that was the first thing that I got. Then the second thing, and I'm not sure how I feel about this. I got it as a jacket to wear to the gym and then obviously not work out in this because I would be too hot. But it's like a fluffy cropped off jacket and this is it close up i'm going to show you a picture of the girl on the website wearing it it comes in three different colors i really liked this um i got the size small which is an eight to ten it is quite oversized i would say to take your regular size to be honest um it was also in the sale i can't remember the percentage that was off on this but it was in the sale and i thought it was like a pretty good deal so I looked one day and my size was sold out. And then I checked back the next day just by chance and my size had come back in stock. So yeah, let me know what you think about that. Do I keep, do I return? I quite like the way the ticks on it are quite subtle. And I thought as something to wear to the gym over my gym kit, um, I thought this could be quite nice. So that's that. Oh, I really, do you know what? I love those. They are nice, I cannot wait to wear those. Let me show you these bags. So the first one, this is the dust bag for it. And it's a bag from Senrev that I got in the sale. And I was shocked it was in the sale. So I actually saw this bag on their Instagram and fell in love with it. It looked so cool. And then I went on the website and it was discounted heavily. I think it's sold out now, you know. I really wanted a shearling bag. And when I saw this, I was either gonna go for this or the one from Palen that is shearling. And I looked backwards and forwards. I was like, oh, which one do I get? And in the end, I decided on this one and I'm really glad I did. It's a decent size. I think from memory, it's got three compartments. And it, it's kind of like a concertina if you see what I mean. It opens out quite wide. What I really like about it is it's got this, the classic Senrev blue micro suede lining. It also has got this little key loop on it there. So you can attach your keys to the bag. I really like it because I have this paranoia. When I go out, I have this paranoia that I've left my keys somewhere. And I, I normally, I've got like a wrist pouch and I wear my keys on my wrist so that whenever I have a mini panic attack about what have I done with my keys, I can do that. And I'm like, okay, they're still on my wrist. But with these, I've got it on the Maestra bag because it's got this key hook, you just know that your keys are safe and they're not gonna fall out and no one can grab them. It just feels a lot more secure. So I really like that. And yes, you've got three open sections here. And the stuff that I tend to carry around is in this pouch. So I've got like makeup, 
lipstick, uh, a comb. What else do I have? Oh, I've got one of these like mini Benefit Cosmetics um, bronzers. I've got a few things in here. Let's check and see if this fits. I, your phone fits, like the biggest phone in the world is gonna fit in this bag, so don't worry about that. But look, that case fits in there perfectly. Does it close? Let's see. So that's it. It's not overly stretched at all. And I've still got room in these two sections here where I could put my phones or a card holder or anything like that. And the middle section is just all of the junk that I tend to carry around. But very pleased with this bag. I really like it. I really like as well the leather on it. It's got silver hardware. And the leather is this sort of taupey colour, which I really like. I like that mixture of that taupe with that silver hardware. It looks really contemporary and quite fresh. Um, yeah, so that that is that. Very glad I got that. And I love the price that I got it for. It's just novelty. It's just cute. The other thing that I got is if i can reach it it's in the same color leather and it's their aria bag so on there it's looking browner than it actually is it's almost like a gray taupe and it comes with a strap that you can either have tied around your waist or you can wear it like this, where I like to wear this bag on a diagonal, kind of across me. And I use this bag every time I go for a walk because it fits both of my phones, it fits my keys, and it fits my like lip balm. It fits everything that I need to carry when I go on a walk. It's convenient, they, these bags don't scuff, they don't mark, like I've, I've got, um, maestro bags that I've had for years now and they're just troopers. I even have one that's in a very light blue that I use for work, it's like my laptop bag. There's no dye transfer on it, I use it all the time and public transport is just a really good brand. So yeah, so um, these are the two there. And then the final bag, oh and do you know what I also got as well? By the way, this they gave me, this I purchased. And I also got one of their twilly scarves in blue, which I thought was quite nice. And one of their guitar straps, which you can attach to your bag and use that, like if you want to totally change up the look of it. And what I like about these is you can use them on other bags as well. They haven't got to be send rev bags. You can use them on any bag you want. So they are the other two things. And then this final bag, it's gorgeous. I love all of the bags I've got. I was so excited waiting for those other two to turn up. But this is the next. It is from Fendi. Some of you will know what it is. So for me, it was a toss up between this bag and the Gucci in the pink. And if I'm gonna be really honest with you, I'll probably end up getting the Gucci in the pink because as I said a couple of videos ago, both of these bags, I haven't been tempted by a bag in months. Everything's too expensive, everything's not worth it, and there's not been anything I've seen that has kept me up at night. But this bag I bought because of the price. Both bags are quite well priced, you know, they're not 5k plus. This bag was £2,000, um, and in fact, I'll explain because there's a version of this that's 1850 so a bit less, and if you have a budget of up to 2k, I think this is a great bag. Look at this. So this, I wanted to get this so that I can retire for a little bit my Lady Dior in the matte, ultra matte black. And I want to just give it a break really because I use it all the time and I like the shape of it and I like the size of it. But I want something a bit fresh, a bit new. And I saw this, this is the sunshine tote in size small. It has got um, these handles on it, which kind of look like tortoise shell, I guess you would say. It's got metal here, which has got the double F logo. And you can get this bag in a couple of different options. This is the monogram option that has the monogram all over. This is the more expensive one that's 2K. If you get the version that's non-monogram, 
but it's got Fendi embossed across the front. That is the one that's 1,850. And I was very torn between the two. Uh, in the end, I decided to go for this one because I do like a bit of monogram. Can't deny, you know me, I like a bit of monogram. The other great thing with this is that you can wear it crossbody. So on the inside, it opens and closes with a magnetic closure. And on the inside, this is the crossbody strap that connects the bag and you can have the handles either up like this or they fold all the way down so you can have them either way um it's not quite like the lady dior the lady dior has got a flap that covers over the top and you flip the flap back this doesn't have that so it's not as secure it's got a little um magnetic thing there that keeps the bag open or closed um, and yeah I really like it but I do think let me know what you think about the Gucci bag because as I said in that last video I do really believe that that's not going to be around forever that feels to me like some sort of limited edition and I can't deny it, I do really like it I don't wish I got it over this because this I know I'm going to use all the time but the Gucci I know I would use a lot as well because I saw the size of it and it's not tiny. This is the great thing about it. It's not like a teeny tiny bag. It's the kind of thing that is actually wearable. I don't know. Let me know what you think. This bag smells amazing as well. It smells like new school shoes. Do you remember that smell? Like that new school shoe smell. Well, I remember it anyway. And yes, yeah, so these are the bags that I got. Um and the sneakers and you know something i'll be wearing the sneakers with the bag why not thank you all so much for watching i will link below to what i can anything that's sold out i won't link to um but yeah you i'll i'll put everything below that i can find thank you all so much for watching remember to come back tomorrow because there's going to be another video tomorrow and it's a mez themed tomorrow so if you're an Hermes fan come and check back thank you and see you tomorrow